Future graduates. Future graduates. Lowell, what are you doing? Well, actually, I've, I've been asked to give the commencement speech at my alma mater, MIT. <laughs> Lowell, you did not go to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Excuse me, Joe. MIT. Murray's Institute of Tools. <laughs> All right, so tell me what you think. Uh, future graduates, esteemed colleagues, Murray. <laughs> As you look back on your educational experience here at MIT, I'm sure you'll always remember it as the finest two weeks of your life. <laughs> but if you'd gone for another week, you could have been Dr. Mather. <laughs> Dr. Mather. Gah, if only I'd had the 59 bucks. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm in big trouble and I, I don't know who to turn to. I need $200. Oh, God, Casey, what's wrong? I gotta get my hair done. <laughs> That's your big emergency? Your roots are showing? Helen, you know me. I hate to ask for money. Well, in the last couple of weeks must have been pure hell for you. <laughs> Come on, you understand. You're my sister. I mean, I was lucky enough to get an appointment at the Lucari Salon in New York. Oh, please. Are you telling me there's not a salon good enough for you here on Nantucket? No, I just can't bring myself to go to a place called Yankee Doodle Scissors. Look, Casey, you are going to have to face reality. There's nothing wrong with being an ordinary person and getting an ordinary, plain haircut. Just ask Helen who she uses. <laughs> Or sometimes, don't you wish you could just suck the words right back into your mouth? <laughs> Look, Casey, you don't need to spend all that money. You can go down to the place that I go. Where's that? Yankee Doodle Scissors. <laughs> God help me, but I'm off to get my Yankee Doodle do. I can't stop smiling. You want to know why? You found loose change in the passenger seats again? <laughs> yes, but that's not the only reason. Just had an incredible therapy session this morning. Dr. Grayson says that I'm completely over Alex and I'm ready to start dating again. Huh? <laughs> that's it? Nothing? Dr. Grayson gave me a hug. Well, for a hundred bucks an hour, I'll give you a hickey. Joan, Where have you Joan. been? You haven't taken my flight lately. Okay, can you keep a secret? I have been living in the biosphere. Oh, well, then that would explain the pasty look. <laughs> uh, what do you read? Oh, new John Irving book, huh? Yeah, just finished it. You want to borrow it? Well, that'd be great. But, uh, I have to warn you, I'm not very good at returning things. Well, neither am I. Actually, I think that's a friend's. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye. Hey, Faye, is, uh, is your schedule to take the last flight today? Yes, why? Well, it's chicks drink free night at the club car. <laughs> Brian, why do you feel the need to skank around the club car? Why don't you take that nice Joan out? Joan? Yeah, you know, she's, she's okay, but I don't know, there's no, there's no spark. Oh, what do you mean there's no spark? Spark, spark, the thing that makes you want to, how do I put this? Oil her up like a brand new catcher's mitt. <laughs> Well, okay, then go to your club car. But I'm telling you, the only thing you'll find there is empty, shallow, meaningless sex. And men who don't appreciate an older, more experienced woman. So, so Brian, you, um, you, you're going to go to the club car tonight? Yeah. Yeah, great, great. Look, um, how about if uh, we go together? Just, uh, when I go alone, yeah. I always strike out. Well, by all means, let's let's pull those resources, huh? <laughs> no, seriously, I'm, uh, it's my first night out, you know, and I think it'd be better if I just went by myself. Okay? Yeah, Brian, there's, there's something you're, you're not telling me, isn't there? I can take it. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> Antonio, the fact is that whenever you're around women, you act desperate and pathetic, and that's why they flee from you, like from a burning building. <laughs> You're mean. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, if you just promise to play it a little cool, I'll meet you there at eight, right? Really? Really? Don't you worry. 
I'll be way cool. Antonio, I'm dancing. Stop it. I tell you what, why don't we just, uh, Make like we're having a normal conversation, you know, laugh a little. Why? Because then it'll look like we're tossing off witty banter, you know? <laughs> hey, come on, huh? I got a million of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian. Brian, uh, well, then take, take, take a look here. Oh, yeah, she's a spark. I'll tell you what, tell you what we'll do. We'll employ the old, uh, Good cop, bad cop, never fails. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? What is it? Well, you, bad cop, will go over and give her some really obnoxious pickup line, right? Then I, the good cop, will rescue her. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then uh, Antonio ends up in the bed with her how? Uh, you don't. You know, Brian, in my country, there is an old saying, uh, il mio amico, mucha came, which means bite me. All right. <laughs> I'll bad cop for you later, okay? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Uh, what, what do I say to him? Oh, hell, I don't know. I, use that line that Roy always uses. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hi, hi. Uh, no, that, that is such a pretty dress. Oh, thanks. It'll look great in a ball next to my bed in the morning. Uh, pig! Uh, excuse me, miss, uh, is this guy bothering you? Yes. What the hell is wrong with you, you pathetic little scuzz ball? Take it easy. Shut up! Get out of my sight, you lowlife. Guys like you make me sick. You better bad cop me later, fly boy. <laughs> Uh, that's no problem. Look, uh, if he bugs you anymore, just give a shot. Well, wait. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> I heard what you said to that girl. Oh, oh no. Uh, you, you don't understand, see? It was just the good cop and the bad cop. Mm -hmm. so it was my friend's idea. I don't care whose idea it was. Get out of here. No, you don't understand. <laughs> Right. So how come I haven't seen you around here before? Uh, well, I've been living in the biosphere. Oh. Uh, is that near Disney World? <laughs> no, the biosphere is the, uh, the, the hydroponic, uh, forget it. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Oh, oh, but next week, I'm changing it to Sri Lisa Ji when I convert to Hinduism. Wow, you're, you're converting? What are you now? Well, I'm the shampoo girl down at Yankee Doodle Scissors. <laughs> <sighs> Look, uh, I'll be right back, okay? Don't go nowhere. Hey, Brian. What are you doing here? I heard you were practically married. Oh, are you kidding me? I'll be doing this when I'm 60. <laughs> hey, Cookie. I'm Brian, and you are gorgeous. What say I buy you a little drink, huh? <laughs> okay, it's okay. The more you drink, the better I look, huh? <laughs> hey there, sugar bumps. You, uh, want to dance? There's no music. That's okay. I got the music in me. Huh? Good. Keep it there. <laughs> Ooh, whee! <laughs> Be a time to mind usual. Hoo <laughs> Brian? Brian? Are you still here? Huh? Huh? Hi. 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 Uh, you know what? I, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. Well, where are you going? <clears throat> well, I just got a call from the biosphere. Bed check in an hour. <laughs>
commencement speech coming along. Well, you know, I'm just putting the final touches on it. But tell me what you think. So, in conclusion, fellow Murray graduates, always be proud of your calling. For what brought down the Berlin Wall? Detente? No. <laughs> Collapse of the Eastern Bloc? I think not. In the end, it was just a bunch of guys with really big hammers. That's a unique insight, dear. Hey, why do you think I graduated Murray Cum Laude? Hi. Holy cow, your hair is... <laughs> Don't you just love it? <laughs> oh, Casey, you know, um... Um, you know, the little, it's, and sort of, it's really bad. I know, I know. I feel like suing that awful place. Oh, why don't you just head on down to Yankee Doodle Lawyers? Um, uh, Casey, I, I'm really sorry. I can't believe my salon did that to you. <laughs> they didn't. I was on my way to your place when I passed this classy-looking little French salon, Bivos. I don't remember a place named Bivos on the island. Wait a second. You don't mean Bivos. You mean my cousin Bivos. Hey, what an American success story. I mean, today he owns a beauty salon. Yesterday he was shaving dogs and cats for surgery. <laughs> to a dog groomer. Oh, there, there, Casey. It's not so bad. Is there something we can get for you? Water? Aspirin? Snossage? Oh, my God. Um, look, here's um, 40 more dollars. You go down to Yankee Doodles this time and get it fixed. Two months ago, I had a beautiful home on Knob Hill. I was on the board of the San Francisco Opera. At our annual dinner dance, I even handed Placido Domingo a quiche puff. And now look at me. I'm a Lhasa Atzo! Whoever did this to you, I will kill them. Ryan, there you are. There you are. Listen now. I... I did the bad cop for you last night, so tonight you bad cop for me, right? Let me tell you something, Antonio. I'm just sick and tired of all these little bar games I'm playing, so I'll just have to take a pass. Wait, right? no, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no. See, see, the game is good cop, bad cop. See, not good cop, off-duty cop. I'm sorry, Antonio. Hey, you're sorry? Yeah, you go home with a beautiful blonde, I get head-butted by a bouncer. All right, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't go home with her. Oh, that makes me feel better? Yeah, a, a large man made me cry like a girl for nothing. Wait, hey, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. You had a hot blonde all set to go and you passed? I know, I know, I can't figure it out. I mean, why would I turn down a beautiful woman like that? I have no idea, but stop undressing me with your eyes. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jonah. I got you something. Oh, wow, the new X-Men comic. Uh, no, actually, that's for my eight-year-old nephew. Nah, go ahead, take it. He's too old for it anyway. Oh. Ryan, she likes you. Why don't you take her out? Oh, I don't know. Hey, I've always thought y'all'd be great together. Would you give the guy a break? He already knows there's no spark. Spark. See, now that is the difference between men and women. It's just like they say. Men fall in love with the women that they're attracted to, where women are attracted to the men that they love. Where have I heard that before? Oh, yeah. I read it on the back of a box of condoms. <laughs> Brian, what I'm trying to say is, when a woman meets a guy, she could feel no attraction whatsoever. In fact, she can be completely turned off. But in time, a spark can grow. I mean, look what happened with Joe and me. What, what, what do you mean, turned off? You're telling me that you didn't have a spark for me at first? 
What, do you have a spark for me? Oh, come on, Helen. You were a fat 11-year-old. The only sparks are flying off your silverware. <laughs> All I am saying is, is you have to give it a chance. Go out with her. You know, see what happens. Maybe you can grow spark. Well, I, I hear what you're saying about Joan and all, but I, I just don't think so. Oh, listen, Brian, look, uh, I, I'm going to swallow my pride and I'll give you one more, one more shot. Okay, what do you say? Tonight, you and me, the club car, it'll be great. Look, I even got us matching shades. Joan! Yes. A movie that I'm really ashamed I like. Right, go. Uh, Billy Jack Goes to Washington. <laughs> wow. Okay, your turn. Okay, well, it's, it's going to be pretty hard to top. Um, I, I would have to say Mandingo. Mandingo starring uh, former heavyweight champ Ken Norton, although he was fantastic in Yentl. <laughs> wow, you're, you're, like, you're the only woman who ever laughed at that. Well, maybe you've just been hanging around the wrong women. Maybe I have. Brian, I'm really glad we did this. Me too. Good night. Good night. Absolutely sparkless. <laughs>
Of course she is. Look, you pathetic little scuzzball. Shut up! The lady wants to know. Hey, he's not bothering me. You are. Is there a problem here? No, not you again. Look, look. I, I, I know what you're thinking. No, no. See, you don't understand. Tonight, I'm the good guy. Come on, come on! I told you yesterday. Thanks a lot for dinner, Brian. Hey, it was my pleasure. This has been great. Listen, if you're not doing anything on Sunday, my mom's having a dinner party, and I know she'd just love it if you could be there. Really? Your mom? Uh, no, I, I... I can't. Joan, I really like you. But... Um... Uh... Oh, you're breaking up with me, aren't you? You see, but I, I, I just don't feel that there's... I don't know how to put this without hurting your feelings. I, I just don't feel like there's any spark. Well, I guess I'm really disappointed to hear that, Brian. I thought we had something. I know. I'm sorry. Well, at least you were honest. Good night. <sighs> Wow. wow. Yeah. You know, you're absolutely right. There is no spark at all. Well, good night. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. But, but, uh... uh, uh... Oh, hello there, Cookie. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. How come this guy is still single? Well, I'll tell you the God's honest truth. Because I've been waiting for you, baby cakes. <laughs> Say it. It's nearly 4.30. What do you say you and I split a, an early bird dinner, huh? <laughs> Go to my house for some demi tasks. Hey, where you going? Nice caboose. 